How do I get a buyer to really hone in on what they're looking for in a home? Their current list of must-haves is really limiting our search, and I need them to think outside the box a bit. Why are they thinking outside the box? <laughs> You're the person who's supposed to think outside the box to find them their dream home. So first, I have something called a buyer's questionnaire. I would use that. So one, are you using that? If you are, thumbs up. If you're not, download it. Maybe we'll put it in a link somewhere around here. Number one, that's gonna help you pre-qualify what your buyer's looking for. I always like to do this. I like for my buyer to paint me a picture. Hey, if I was gonna wave the magic wand, just tell me about your dream home. What is it? And I'd go through everything. And you guys know this. I want the kitchen, I want the backyard, I want the pool, I want the solar roof, I want the Tesla, the Bentley, I mean, you name it. They got crazy requests. And then what I would do is as I was looking at homes for them, I'd be pointing things out. Here, this one has the pool or this one has the kitchen we're looking for. But to find everything, right, we're gonna have to increase our budget. I'd maybe even find them the home that has everything and say, hey, this is outside your price range, but this is everything you want. And I'm just telling you, if you want all of this, which it seems like you do, because we've been struggling with showing you the right homes, we're gonna have to up the price and bring them to reality. It doesn't exist in this market. But what I've done is I found these three homes that have 60% of the items that you want, or 20% or 50%. And so I think we have to not try to have them think outside the box. It's our goal as the realtor to show them the properties that best suit their needs within their budget, right? And then if they still buckle and they still have problems, there's a what happens is you have to show them reality. Let me show you what's on the market, right? This is all that's available in the area. You have to up your price, or we're gonna to have to settle on something. So let's, what are the must-haves and what are the nice-to-haves? What are those and let's lay those out. And so I think this question is, is, is real easy because you just have to really talk to your client and understand that and talk reality. I think what we do is we, we, we get into this, this area where we don't wanna tell them the truth of this is all that's available, but that is all that's available. It's the facts and you don't control that. But what you can control is helping them make a decision on the right home, which is within their budget by showing them, this is all we have, this is everything. If you wanna go up in price, we're gonna get this dream Bentley over here, but unless you go up in price, which I know you can't, this is the best that we can do with what we have. And so that's what I would do if I were you.